Hi and welcome to another how to make a card video with me Emily Hessler. Today we're gonna create another card with that same stamp set from Hero Arts that I seem to love so much. But today it's not gonna be a happy birthday card even though I love those. This is gonna be a, a card that says so happy for you. And to get started with it I'm taking some Nina uh, Ultra Smooth cardstock and on top of that I'm taking some Distress inks and just placing that on top of it. I'm creating uh, this background by, <laughs> by taking this uh, ink and uh, making small circles with it. Uh, it doesn't take uh, long to blend these colors together and I'm not taking that much time to blend them perfectly either because in the end you will see that this result is good enough. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen me do a sibling card to this one if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out on my Instagram. My name is uh, Scrapbooking Underline Svea. This is gonna create some circles. We, we are gonna die cut some circles out of this background that we are creating. And you will see it here. After we have colored in our background, I'm taking this die set from Avriel. This is called Pierce Circles. As you can see, I'm taking uh, the two smallest one in this die set. And I'm also uh, trying out that next size, but deciding that I doesn't want it. I'm just taking those two smallest. And here you can see uh, the result of uh, those uh, die cutting. That uh, piece I'm gonna lay, uh, lay aside and I'm using that in that sibling card that I talked about earlier. I'm laying all those pieces aside and now I'm gonna get started on our sentiment on our front, uh, on the front of the card. And here you can see my favorite stamp set from Hero Arts. And now I'm taking that happy uh, stamp. I'm just carefully taking that off. And I'm gonna ink this up with some Versa Fine Onyx Black. Then I'm taking the top portion of this sentiment that says so, and I'm carefully gonna line that up with uh, the already stamped happy. And I'm pressing that down cleaning off my stamp and now I'm going to take the other portion of this sentiment that says so happy and then it comes for you. And here you can see me inking that up and pressing that down below the sentiment. And here we have the whole sentiment for this card, so happy for you. And here comes the fun part in this card. Now we're gonna place all those small circles that we created. And um, I'm trying to figure out which of the colors that I want to use. And as you can see, I'm deciding that I want the pinks and the yellows and the orange. And here I'm just trying to figure out uh, in which order I want them and how many and so far. I'm gonna speed this up because the thing I'm gonna do now is take some dimension tape on the back side and then I'm gonna peel off all those teeny tiny pieces and it was hard to do it the first time and you don't have to see that. This card is starting to get ready, but to finish it off, you know me, I cannot just leave it like it is. I have to have some sparkle and shine. And to give this card that, I'm taking some small stripes of gold paper. I have been getting some comments both here on YouTube and also on my Instagram uh, where my gold paper is from. And this one is actually from Ikea Maxi. It's a local uh, grocery and it's very uh, cheap. 
so I bought several of, several of it. Uh, the great thing about it is that it has some adhesive already on the back side to it. Uh, and to give this card a little more sparkle and shine, I'm taking my clear Wink of Stella and just um, taking that onto our small circles. And to the word happy, I'm also taking some glossy accent just to give this word some dimension. And this finishes off uh, this card for today. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, don't forget to give this card a thumb up. If you want to see more of my work, you can always subscribe to my channel here at YouTube or visit me at Instagram. My name is Scrapbooking Underline Sweer. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!